who come to my second congregation. Uh, we had some opportunity to worship this morning in a little place down on, on uh, McAllister Street, a, a little storefront down there. Uh, but now I have a chance to return to the, uh, uh, to the turf on which St. Paul has arose, and here's another congregation. So um, I appreciate your, your presence here, and uh, I am delighted to uh, see such a variety and, and amazement of, of, uh, of the kind of, of gifts that God continues to provide for the earth which he has given us so, so generously. Um, St. Paulus used to stand right in that, uh, in that uh, cavern there. You notice the, uh, the walls, there are some foundation bricks that still remain. Um, we have, uh, uh, from those windows up there, we have watched this, this uh, uh, lot, uh, hoping that something would arise in it. We spent, we spent um, from about 19... Uh, 99, 2000, until about uh, 2006, uh, trying to dream about what we could put in the place that would serve the community. And um, we had a couple of couple of ideas that uh, uh, we went sort of gung ho on. Uh, one of which was that we were going to build here in this in this lot uh, an Alzheimer's unit for uh, for Alzheimer's patients. And um, we, did, we did our homework, we did our architectural drawings, we did all the necessary uh, stuff to make that happen. And then when we finally got to the last minute <coughs> and looked for funding from uh, HUD, they yanked the rug out from under us. And so the project went down. So um, after all that eagerness and all that openness and willingness, it collapsed. Well, not to be undone, we uh, we worked again for another try, and worked with a with a group called AF Evans, who has built a number of uh, items around here, housing particularly, and uh, engaged them to build a a unit here of workforce housing, in which St. Paulus would have a small sort of uh, part. I. Uh, that was going fine. We'd signed the documents, got uh, some some uh, uh, assurances, and then AF Evans went bankrupt. So we have been in bankruptcy court for the last three years, awaiting for the resolution. Uh, but clearly, AF Evans is not going to rise from the dead. So um, that's not going to happen. All that goes to say that the intention for this lot was not to have something built on it, but to have something grow on it. God was, uh, was very active in those, in those, uh, uh, those times uh, teaching us a rather significant lesson that uh, you, can, you can put your wisdom and your strength and your hopes in man or woman, or you can put it in God. We've learned to put our hands, our future, our life in God's hands, and lo and behold, what happens? This incredible gathering of people, this incredible gift of the garden, this incredible opportunity to serve not only God's creation, but also those that come here for food, come here for engaging in, their, in the work, tilling the earth. God had intentions far beyond and above what we had, and I am so grateful. And you are, in some ways, the gifts and the products of God's actions, having denied our grandiose notions, and have, you are the ones that God has blessed. We can only sit back and be very grateful. We would never have a congregation like this were it not for this ground. We are uh, delighted. We, uh, St. Paulus goes back... 145 years. It was, uh, it was a, uh, a German immigrant congregation that uh, established itself in 1867. Um, it, uh, after 30 years or, or 23 years, 
uh, it um, had grown and it had decided that it really wanted to plant itself deeply in the San Francisco environment. So uh, in, late, in the late 1800s, <coughs> it built a, uh, this, this marvelous cathedral-looking uh, structure that held forth for over 100 years. The building at St. Paulus, the icon that's, that's in all the marvelous uh, pictures of the painted ladies. You ever seen that? Look at the background. You'll see the, the spires of St. Paulus tucked away in that picture. That, that building stood until 1995 when, um, when, it, uh, when it succumbed to a marvelously uh, bright and glorious fire that, uh, that leveled it. Um, the only thing left, there are a few things left, but the most, one of the most precious things that was left was a spire with a cross on top of it that the, uh, that the uh, firemen from San Francisco went up on one of those ladder trucks that go way, way up, plucked that cross off the top, and now we have it as part of, as, as our uh, sort of cornerstone at our, uh, at our um, storefront church down at 950 McAllister. So, um, but it, uh, to come back here after a year's worth of hard labor, delightful labor, beautiful labor, it is an amazing thing to see God's gift being cared for in such a in such a loving, caring, and fruitful way. And I, for one, speaking on behalf of St. Paulus, express my deep gratitude for you folks for having taken this uh, this gift and managed it on God's behalf and made it grow and prosper and live again in a most beautiful and powerful way. My thanks to you, and um, God bless your tilling and your sowing and your reaping, and may God be praised.